So now in this video, we wired an op amp. I'm using one of the LM358s there to alternate a couple LEDs. We're doing that thanks to both uh, positive feedback right there and negative feedback. And now zooming in on the uh, schematic here that I drew. Um, I didn't include the uh, power pins. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. But we have this connected to uh, the uh, positive supply of 5 volts and a negative supply of 0 volts down there. Now, um, we have the output. The most important thing to remember with op amps, the output wants to be more like the non-inverting input, the plus, than the inverting input. And uh, so to begin with, we have a couple of 10K resistors there wired as a voltage divider by themselves. Since they're equal value, they'd set the uh, invert, non-inverting input, I mean, to 2.5 volts. But we have the uh, output here. So when the output is high, we're going to start with that. That raises the voltage thanks to that positive feedback. So it's going to be above 2.5 volts. I don't know exactly how much. Also, it doesn't connect to uh, 5 volts at as an output as well as it connects to ground the uh, zero volts um, so that's something to keep in mind but in any case high output there it's going to raise the voltage at this point so if we have a higher voltage at the non-inverting than the inverting that means that the capacitor is a lower voltage so the output is actually going to charge the capacitor the uh, values there determine the speed of its charge so it's going to voltage is going to go up at some point it's going to go higher than what we have at the non-inverting input. So that's the inverting input will have a higher voltage. The output is the opposite of what the inverted input is. It wants to be more like the non-inverting. So once this gets higher, that sets the output low. That's gonna drag down the voltage at uh, this point here. So it's gonna drop below 2.5 volts at the non-inverting input. And um, so we got a lower voltage, that's a higher voltage. And um, remember this is the opposite of what we got there. So we got our higher voltage, but now this is low, so it's going to start discharging the capacitor through the output there. So it's going to drop its voltage until it gets to that new low, and then the output goes high, and then the capacitor has to charge to a higher voltage to get back there. It just keeps bouncing back and forth. That's the uh, basics of this circuit, and I wrote the note there. Um, when the output's high, the reference voltage goes up, the capacitor starts charging. You know, when it gets a high enough voltage, the output goes low which uh, drops the reference uh, voltage down lower, which uh, discharges the capacitor. Until it gets low enough, then it sets the output high. Just keeps uh, going back and forth like that. And um, I uh, didn't notice this earlier. I, I did switch the resistors, but I was using 220 uh, before. Now I got 470 for the red LED. And um, it looks like they're uh, switching back and forth more evenly. But uh, I think it's a little bit shorter when the output's low the blue LED is lit up than uh, when the output is high the red LED lights up which makes sense because it connects the ground uh, better so the capacitor should uh, discharge quicker um, but in uh, any case we'll uh, zoom in so we have to power it as I said before positive supply pin 8 negative supply pin 4 right there for this and uh, that's a 10k resistor going to ground this is a 10k resistor going to the positive supply the uh, power pin there uh, they're both uh, connected to uh, this row right there. And uh, even though this one's a little hard to see that it's, there we go. Kind of look like it might have been in there. Now we have our uh, negative, or no, this would be positive. That's the uh, the plus there, the non-inverting input. You can see it's coming from the output right there. So whatever the output is, now it's high, now it's low. It's pulling that up high or it's pushing it down low right there bouncing back and forth as I explained before. So then we have the inverted input again. That's negative feedback since it's going to the inverted, the uh, negative right there. And uh, ultimately what it's doing is uh, charging or discharging the capacitor. So the capacitor is connected to ground even though it's up higher just because it would be kind of in the way over there. So it's connected to ground, that's a lower. So higher voltage charges the capacitor and then the lower voltage discharges uh, the capacitor, as I mentioned before. So see that on the board, hopefully. We'll help you wire it if you want to wire it. I don't know that I'll be able to find this schematic. Um, I got to redraw a whole bunch of uh, schematics. So this one's a little more complicated. I like to post it, but I can't guarantee that I will in the uh, community page. So in any case, uh, that's it. 
Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.